My favorite Franklin half dollar is actually one of the error Franklin half dollars known as the Bugs Bunny. And we're familiar with the Bugs Bunny today because of the one book that kind of broke it open in 1990 to all of us, The Cherry Picker's Guide. When I'm going through change, what should I look for? Well, tonight I have one of the rarest of the bugs at a crazy price. But inside of all this, um, very much affordable, look at that price, autographed by the author of The Cherry Picker's Guide. And when you look at this coin in this grade, 64 or higher, you are going to look at NGC's website and know that there's only 34 of these known to exist that are this nice. That is outright crazy, is it not? So let's talk about two things first. What is the Bugs Bunny? Well, it's a die rotation error. On the right-hand side, you see he has lips on every coin that was made. Right? 16 Ps, 14 Ds, 5 Ss, 35 Franklins. We found it on the 1955, the most limited mintage, which makes sense because we're scrutinizing that coin. The rarest Franklin, we're scrutinizing that coin. When they found it and they looked at it, they said, hold it, there's a, a die break, a die variety here. Doesn't look right. He has two buck teeth, Franklin. Well, at that time, you might remember what was one of the more popular Looney Tunes. Who's the character? Bugs Bunny. And as a result, it got the nickname Bugs Bunny, and it sticks. NGC, PCGS, Anex, all the certification services for a fee will put the actual name. Now, the technical name is the FS401. Sounds kind of boring. Bugs Bunny sounds pretty cool. And that's the fun part about collecting. We get to name some of these. When you look at that graphic, and the graphic will come with the coin, you can see that difference, right? So the Cherry Picker's Guide comes out in 1990. And there have been six editions that has launched a new edition this year, actually, at the a and in Pittsburgh. And there's, I know a number of people that have blogs that go out there and they just read a different page of the Cherry Picker's Guide every day and they got tens of thousands of people following them. All the look for this, look for that is from the hard work done by a number of these individuals years ago and published by Bill Fevis. And he autographed all of the Bugs Bunnies we have here tonight. And they're in his cherry picker label, which was coordinated with NGC. So the 1955 is the first Bugs Bunny found. And it was found eh, 15, 20 years ago, all part of the process. And to date, there's only 1,334 of them known. And, then, and in 64 or higher grade, it's a couple hundred dollar coin. Ridiculously rare, unquestioned and affordable. But then you, because of that, people are now looking at the other Franklins. How many other Franklins had a similar die rotation where the dies hit each other, there was no planchant in the actual machine, which means now the feathers of the eagle's tail of, are going to be popping up on his, well, face, the buck teeth. So 1956, the other low mintage, the other one-year-only coin, and there's 210 of those known. And those sell for $300 to $400 today when you find them. And again, 210. The last year of issue of the Franklin series was 1963. P's and D's, right? Large population numbers, i.e. lots of coins that were struck. Mintage figures, I should say. And you look at how many of they found Bugs Bunny from 1963 Philadelphia, and it's only 102 coins, which explains why it's $3.99 to $4.99 when you find it in the marketplace. Again, when it comes to rarities, that's tiny. I mean, there are just under 1,000 95W proof silver eagles known to exist in 70, high grade. About five or 6,000 known in 69 and 70. And that in 69 and 69 grade is a $6,000 coin in 70, where there's just under 1,000 known, it's almost a $30,000 coin, right? This is a Franklin series, coins that circulated half a century ago, right? 
and we have numbers of, so far, 1334 on the 55, 210 on the 56, and 102 on the 63. Now, 1961, the prize. 34 are known. 34, less than one per state. And every one of ours is in that beautiful cherry picker label, coordinated with NGC, and the author, Bill, see this, he signed all of them. Not a facsimile, it's actually his signature on this coin. His passion, his love for collecting and the chronicling of this is why we can find this cool stuff today. So, the 56s where there's a couple hundred of them sell for $2.99 to $3.99. The 63s that there's about 100, and there's exactly 102 of them, are $3.99 and higher. And then the rarest of them all, the, the 61 we're looking at here, we have tonight and we're selling it for significantly less. We're only at $279.95 for a 64. I mean, think of, there's less than 50 of them known this night. And it's, if you look at the, the guides, i.e. NGC's population reports, PCGS's population reports, uh, strike through errors or things of that nature, they don't chronicle how many or how few are known. But some of these very special varieties that are in the Cherry Picker's Guide, they do. And this is one of them. So they actually document how many of them they have seen. And again, NGC's been out there for 35 years. The Cherry Picker's Guide came out after NGC started. They started in the mid-1980s, right? And then the Cherry Picker's Guide, the first edition, which, by the way, that first book sells for a couple hundred bucks from 1990. And one of the true blessed coins in that guide is the Franklin Half Dollar series and the finding of the Bugs Bunny 1955. And over the last decade, we've added a couple of more years because people are scrutinizing, they're looking at it, and they're saying, hey, isn't this a Bugs? Isn't this a Bugs? And half the time it's not, but every once in a while it is. So again, 1956, there are 210 of them. 1963, there's 102 of them. But in 1961, this one, there are 34. Oh my. Phones are very busy, thank you all. I love the Franklin series for rarity and value, whether it's a coin in a capsule or one of these certified beauties we're talking about. Hard to beat. When you compare it to the Silver Eagles of the last 40-ish years, can't even carry it, right? These are the deal. And look at how gorgeous they are. Join us, everybody. Don't miss out. This one, that is how special it is. Special.